stepped away, the black dudes started coming up and was like, oh, you talking to him? You fuck with him? It's all these black men in here and you choose him? First of all, he bought me a drink, bitch. Hey, smoke! Ho! Oh. Before we get started, please like and share this video because it is so important to my success here on the YouTube. Now, let's talk about red lips. Today's going to be a chit chat, um, fashion, and um, I think this is episode 11, child. I had a rough night. You hear me? Rough. I don't know if I was sick as a dog because of some fish my wife bought down there to the Hong Kong market. Or the ice cream, because child, you know, once you get past like a certain age, you just become, you know, lactose intolerant to the stream, to the extreme. But all I'm saying, it was rough last night. So, you know, y'all work with me when I'm a little, you know, dazed and confused. So, <clears throat> today I picked a topic today instead of a story time because I wanted to talk about Lonnie Love and her being attacked for being with a white man. So today what I'm not going to do is I'm not going to put a um, foundation on today because I burnt my skin up. Like sometimes when I'm just cleaning up my eyebrows a bit, I'll put like some meat up here and down there and chat. Look, I done burnt my skin all up and now it's all bloody and everything, child. But anyway, I'm not going to put no foundation on because I don't need nothing irritating it, you know. Even though y'all tell me I have good skin, <clears throat> It's very sensitive, okay? But, um, and if you don't know, I'm going to uh, put in the subtitles what I'm using. So, at any rate, what is going on is that Lonnie Love is being bashed because of her choice to be with a white male, okay? Um... I don't know why you people are so bothered by that. I don't I don't understand why people are so bothered, right? And I know I'm about to piss people off, but I'm about to give you my truth, you know, because people be like, I'm telling y'all the truth. No, you telling your truth, motherfucker. Your truth ain't everybody's truth. Let me do this. I'm going to give the same response about this situation with Lonnie Love that I would give to the situation when it comes down to black men dating white women and all that outrage, you know, black women be all up in the hizzy and the tizzy. And I know y'all be like, nay, you can't even talk. You a whole wife to a woman. Yes, but, you know, I did. Well, I think how it happened was I was like 15 years gay and it took like a five-year break child and dated men. And then before I even started, I was dating men like when I was a teenager. So, you know, I, I, most of my experience come from women. But I'm not stupid, you know, like I told y'all I was a PO for years, so I have a lot of interaction with different men, different kinds of men's child, saying all that bullshit they be with and all that other stuff, right? Ladies, real talk, do you want that nigga? Because every man that habitually dates white women, your girl would never, ever be attracted to. Ugh. You know, like he might do things like walk around outside with no shoes on, or, you know, what else do, you know, white folks do that kind of turn us off? Like, I mean, it's a, uh, like it's a lot of stuff, you know, that is, there are a lot of cultural differences that we pretty much can't cope with. I mean, in fact, I mean, don't beat me in the head over the, tr the truth or my truth, but factually, uh, ladies, you need to stop being in your feelings about a nigga that you really wouldn't be worried about anyway. Say that. And then I'm going to say this, right? It was a couple on YouTube that just broke up. And the name was Jamie is and Nikki. And the black girl, I, think, I don't know her name, but she just blasted the white dude for cheating on her. Let me tell you something. That white dude picked the most blackest, most African, 
beautiful woman. We're not going to lie that she ain't beautiful. Now, she need to stop wearing so much goddamn makeup because, I mean, you wake up Mindy and go to bed Cindy. I don't. But in that situation, I got kind of like a, a certain kind of feeling about him because I was like, he doesn't seem like a white guy that is genuinely like loving a black woman. He seemed like a white guy that just liked to that admires and lusts after the 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 color differences. If you know what I'm saying, like the color differences. Like he doesn't seem like he genuinely just loves the way we smell like cocoa butter and you know bath and body works and you know like and that we what did they say we taste like what did the white man say we taste like that but the white dude a white dude that i asked that dates black women habitually because um and not and his family's pure white he just was like y'all just taste better just the things about y'all just is just better okay he didn't down his own race he just said that you know our beauty is just better to him and I didn't feel like this certain creepish vibe about him but that damn Nikki and Jamie is that the name but, but I don't mind that genuine you know compatibility that you have with a person of the opposite or a different race I don't mind that that's beautiful to me but you have to admit there's some white man situations where you feel like, oh, is he a creep or do he really like her? Like I will say this. If Lonnie Love tried her hand at black men, I don't care if she dated four or five men, seven, ten men, 900 men, one man, and they were black men. And she said, I want to do something different. That's her motherfucking choice. Okay? That's her mother hunting choice. She can date whoever and whatever she wanted to date. And you know what's crazy to me? One time I was out um, at a bar. I forget the name of the bar. It was somewhere in Fort Washington. Was it? What was the name of the bar? I don't know. But anyway, I was in a bar, minding my business. Look at this. This is, ended up being a, a story time anyway. But I was at a bar, minding my business, okay? And a white dude came up and was talking to me. And we was just chit-chatting, real talk, y'all. I get along with a lot of people, anybody. So when the dude, I think we chit-chatted for maybe like an hour, something like that. And it, I didn't feel disrespected. You know, of course he tried his hand, but it wasn't like it was a thing where, you know, I was like, oh, white man, get the hell away from me. You want my black cookies. So as soon as he stepped away... The black dude started coming up and was like, oh, you talking to him? You fuck with him? It's all these black men in here and you choose him? First of all, he bought me a drink, bitch. All you doing is coming over here talking bullshit about why I'm over here talking long to this white man like you my daddy. Nigga, please. So, it was just like one or two of them that came up to question my... The reason why I was talking to him, I can do whatever the fuck I want to do. Okay? I don't owe you motherfuckers nothing, and I don't care what color you are. Ooh, that was rough. They are not going to monetize this video. But I just was insulted over the fact that I had been there for about 20 minutes. Now one black dude came over to me. Not one. For you. Okay, guys, if you have not already done so, please like and share this video because it is so important to my success here on the YouTube. Now, remember this, the same people you meet on the way up will always be the same people that you meet on the way down. Naysayers.
my patron loves, House and Nay Rob. Have a good one.